Oh my gosh, dude. He's shitting. Kevin, look at me. Look. Kevin. Alright, are you ready to see the dragon? <laughs> So we just finished filming a fire video. Guys, we're back at it, and I finally get to see Kevin. I have never seen this King Cobra until that awesome video that we went ahead and gave him a bath. Oh, yeah, we had to give him a soaking. So guys, if you want to go ahead and see him actually stare me down like he's doing right now, but like really close to my hands, check out on his channel. By the way, look at this new this room. Is amazing. This Isn't is this really, really nice. Don't you like this? I love it. It's and this gorgeous. is our behind wait, wait. the scenes. Behind the scenes. Wait until I, I'm a private facility where we can get a tour. Oh, dude. Croc feedings, interactions with lemurs, snakes. Oh, I'm snakes. excited, bro. I can't so wait. Stuff, it's going to be so cool. Look at this. He's looking right at me. He's like, hey, bro. I don't like the fact that you're a Gators fan. Hey, hey, let it ride, all right? I used to really love the Gators. I still do. You know what I'm saying? But whoa, whoa, what's whoa. really... Can, can, can you mention the fact how when we're in the gym today, they almost let, didn't let you in because of that jacket. I don't want to talk about that. They, he, he was going to charge The you. guy was going to charge me, bro. I paid for people to come with me to the gym, <laughs> and he tells him he needs to pay $7 fee because of that shirt. Oh, whatever. Get over it. Look at this. I can't get over that. There's so much beauty in this exhibit. I'm going to call this Chandler's... Ex Chandler? Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh, dude. He's shedding. Look at that. That is insane. That's so cool, man. You know what species that is? Puff adder. It's on the Bittus family from Africa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm dude. trying to get some footage of it as well. Oh, <laughs> dude. This is amazing. Look at the smiley face that's coming out of the skin right there. Oh, that's amazing. Chandler, he's just about done, bro. All right, man, I got the tongs right over here, so just oh, do me okay. a favor and get up and back up because. <laughs> His girlfriend's right there at the front, oh, yeah, so she might shoot out. Oh my god. All right. They're very explosive, and they're not going to really give you a signal when they strike. That is pretty insane, bro. Oh, he's still shedding. Let's let him finish. Just stay right about there. You're at a good distance. And look, look, she's propping herself up right there. Is this a breeding pair? Yes, yes. Breeding pair. Can, how can you tell the difference between male and female? Well, it depends on the type of snake we're talking about. Because some snakes you can tell by looking at from the vent of their tail, the cloaca, where uh -huh. the sexual organs are hidden, okay. to the tip of the tail, the length will tell you male or female. Okay. The males would usually have a longer tail to wrap around the females, for like for colubrids. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say uh, for a python, you would use a probe or a popping technique. Oh, okay. Probe to see the depth, male or female. Mm -hmm. And also popping, for like ball pythons, you put gentle pressure right around the cloaca and then right behind the cloaca, and the hemipenes pop out. And did you know snakes have two penises? Interesting. They're called hemipenes. Hmm. Lucky them. If you look over here, this is also a puff adder, right here. And going, look, look, right there, going inside that cage right there, going inside that hollow log. That's a puff adder as well. Wow. But notice the colors are completely different. Just a Short different body. subspecies. Okay. Wow. So what's really cool about animals is you could have a species of animal, but then it has different subspecies along that country and different terrains. You get different colors. So that's what subspecies are. They're different versions of the main species. Almost done. Right there. Cross the finish line. I believe in you. That snake is no joke. And that's it. And when people discovered the snake, they were pretty, pretty simple about naming it. They found it, it was hissing, huffing, and puffing. They go, eh, I'm gonna call that a puff adder. <laughs> Clever. I'm gonna need you to back up. You can stay here, just back up over there. Because this guy's ready. Oh, grab something so he uses tongs. All right. Now, let me just close this up. Oh, man. Watch out. Get in there. <laughs> nice oh, try. Oh, 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 oh. It's a bit dirty, I'm sorry, but go ahead and grab that. That's all yours. You're welcome. It's a little moist. No problem. Cool. Um. Thanks. No problem. Dude, these vipers gotta be my favorite, bro. The rhino, the rhino vipers? vipers? Yeah. Bro. Oh, we just got a new one. Wait until it comes out of quarantine. It looks way crazier than that one. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's Congo rhino viper, so it's way, way prettier. Really? Don't tell that other rhino viper. Come over here, check this out. I'm sorry that the other shed skin was really nasty. It was full of eco earth and really just mud. So here. It was an eastern diamondback rattlesnake that just shed and took a big poop. So let me take that out. It's a little sandy, better than being covered in you know mud. And poo. There we go. Shake all that sand off. There we go. Beautiful. This is a rattlesnake skin. Look at that. Here you go. Another one. And I'm gonna have to get that poop out. So 
I can never predict what kind of gift you're going to give me, buddy. I can never predict it. Today, skin. And fear. And, oh yeah, a lot of fear. So this stuff is made of keratin. It's the same material as your fingernails and your hair. So snake skin, the scales, keratin, and when they shed, it's just like the shavings of your fingernails. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right, are you ready to see the dragon? <laughs> yeah? When'd you get this? It's, well, I have plans for fighting some dragons in the future, so I need a, some armor, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. So anyways, I'm gonna show you these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you these animals I've got over here, some real dragons, real ones, not mythological ones. All right, let's do it. Hey. Who's a ferocious dragon? Who's a ferocious dragon? Are you talking about your, your snapper turtle? No, Bruce! Bruce! Oh! <laughs> oh, look at Bruce! Bruce, the dragon, the broad... Wait, let me take this off. This is actually uncomfortable. Are you stuck? I got it. You oh. got it? Yeah, yeah. Here, let me just put this over here. Okay. It's like my head's in a kettle. Oh, man. Look at that broad-snouted caiman. That's look amazing. Look how beautiful this animal is. He's so cool. Let me, let me put him in some better lighting. You gotta really see how pretty these animals are. Stay right there. You have a heater for the entire facility, right? Yeah, everything's on a timer, so it doesn't overheat in here. Because okay. although they're reptiles, too much heat will kill them. You know, they, they can't take too much of it like any other animal. Right, right, they right. They only need a, a certain amount of it for energy, and then after that, they're trying to stay in the shade the rest of the time. Right. They're trying to stay in the water. So come over here and get a good shot of how beautiful this broad sound can is on this lighting. This is the bath water. Yeah, we're gonna have to dump that we're soon. We're gonna dump that soon. Beautiful broad snouted caiman. It's literally a handheld dinosaur, dude. I know. I wasn't kidding. It's a dragon. Look at its eyes. Oh my god. And they're called broad snouted caimans because look how broad and short that snout is. As this animal gets older, its snout's gonna get even more broad and odd looking. It it looks like a big frog. So guys, Google that picture, broad snouted caiman adult, or even better, why don't you stick a photo in there and show them what it looks like? We'll do that right now. Honya? No, did you guys see that awesome photo? How cool is that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Hello? Who's that? Anyone here? Oh, it's Nasowitz! What's up, boy? What's up? Oh, How are you? This is my brother. He helps do mainly all everything. He does everything here. This is he all. This is your He's work. Actually... This is your work. This is all your work. This is yeah. beautiful. This is amazing. Yeah, that's Will. I've known Will since I was a little kid, since I was a volunteer at the Native little. Village. I mean, he's still little, but... Well, Alright, let me tell you guys something. I hope you watch my <laughs> videos, you understand he's like eight feet tall. <laughs> I mean normal size. I'm I'm an inch under six foot, okay? Alright, you go do your thing. Let's see what yeah. He's a little upset. That's the call to the mom saying, hey, come over here and kill these people, please. <laughs> can you mimic that call? Oh yeah, I can. I can. There's a back of the throat call that's like this. Oh. And then this is the really good call, like this one. I grew up here. Oops, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna put him away because he's getting a little, a little stressed out. Yeah, but yeah. I have my uh, much tamer, not tamer, more tolerant animals up here. I want you to handle. So I'm gonna go put this guy away. Guys, look at Thanos. So you went ahead and changed his entire scape, bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of the sand, it ended up not being such a great idea. Yeah, trust With me. That type I, of filter. I know. Yeah. yeah, it's a pain. So I'm actually, you know what? Now seeing that you changed it too, you have inspired me to change mine. We're gonna probably have to do that in a different video that we pretty much changed Godzilla's landscape. Again, thank thank you for the coolest thing someone's ever got me, bro. You sure know how to make things weird, bro. Look at Kevin. What a monster. A gentle yet very ferocious. How about an alligator? Monster. Oh. American alligator? Yeah, have you met this guy before? Not at all. This is Omar, he's an American alligator. Oh, 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 you do your alligator. You do your alligator. Mm. Oh. He has a dodge a kiss. Oh, I guess he doesn't love me that much. Dude, this is so cool. He's my baby. He's a little American alligator. It was a little chilly out, so I brought him into the snake room to keep him toasty, along with the other hatchling crocodilians I've got. Trust me, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm kind of toasty. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice and toasty in here for them. Dude, this is so cool. So you have like little velociraptors. Yep, yep. I have my permits to own alligators, crocodiles, caimans, class one and two crocodilian here in the state of Florida. I uh, use them for education and I have a facility that I'm opening up in the next two years. So that's something you guys can look forward to. We can see little geckos like this that turn into giant dinosaurs. Relax, Kevin. Come oh, on. Look at him. Come on, Kevin. I hey. know, man. We're friends, right? Hey, Kevin, look at me. Look. Kevin. Hey, I'm looking at you. Look at me. He's Kevin. looking at us. Hey, look at Slayers. You. Look. That's so scary. You understand what I'm saying? You 
need to cool it. Okay, buddy? Put some Cool Whip on it. Can I actually hold him? Yeah, of course. Let's put your palm out. There you go. And he's very docile. So you got nothing he to worry really about. He is. I remember when you went ahead and had that big albino alligator at the Monster Fish Bash. That was a really cool alligator. Yeah, wait until the next fish bash. And I always appreciate you to, for introducing me to some awesome animals, man. Look at that. Bro, Will, Will's the man with the plan. He's yeah. got everything all set up. He's, he's so these are your him. crocodilian enclosures right now, Yeah, actually? they're waterland tubs. Oh, okay. So they're customized for crocodilians mm -hmm. and turtles or really anything aquatic. Uh-huh. And there's a land side, so you can fill up with dirt, sand, whatever you like. Okay. And hey, then there's buddy. a ramp to get up on the land, and then you have your water side. And right here, what we did is, well, what Will did, Will would set up these overflows. Oh, so if the nice. water gets too high, it flows out, Look, and it'll keep the animals from being stuck in a container filling up with water, and then they drown. So nice. this is thinking a step ahead. Oh, That's cool. Do you hear that? Yeah. Mommy! <laughs> That's uh, my little baby American alligator, Omar. He's just making a little trip, calling a mama. That's so cool. This is amazing. I, like, I really like blue. Blue is so unique. Yeah, blue the smooth front. You can actually see the faded spots right there. So depending on temperature or stress levels, these guys, they can make their face white. Look at those teeth. It's a real life Velociraptor. Wait, no, hold. Hold. Yes, it is a real life Velociraptor. Didn't you name this gentleman right here blue? No, Zach did. Zach did, that's right. Yeah, look at that. What's really cool about this species compared to other crocodilians is that if you look right here, the spikes on the back, those mm -hmm. bony plates are called osteoderms, yeah. they go down the sides and onto the belly. Look at that. Oh, that's so Armor neat. all over this animal. Talk about a dinosaur. Touch his belly, touch his belly. feel how hard that is. There's osteoderms underneath the skin oh, on the dude, belly. dude, so tight. Yes. That's insane, bro. So that makes this animal's skin worth nothing to poachers. So their population's doing amazing. Wow. Well, bro, thanks for the opportunity to have me over. As course, always, you know I love you, bro. This is so cool. You're making me love a lot of things I didn't think I actually find a true love for. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, we'll be doing a lot of stuff together once again. I've been missing you, bro. He's been on a little vacation doing his thing. I was stuck in Ocala. Stuck in Ocala. My car broke down. But we got a wiener over here, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't touch my wiener. Okay.